I know it was a lot of information to take in during the course, but I hope it helped at least give you an idea of where to start using machine learning in your embedded projects. If you are brand new to machine learning and you'd like to learn more about it, I highly recommend Andrew Ng's machine learning class here on Coursera. He walks you through the basic math, starting with a review of matrix algebra, and by the end, you've written neural network training and inference algorithms from scratch. He has other courses that go into deep learning with things like convolutional neural networks that are worth checking out. Once you have a decent grasp of what's going on in neural networks, I recommend learning some Keras, which is a high-level framework that makes manipulating neural networks much easier. There are plenty of books and courses that you can take that will teach you how to use Keras. Edge Impulse uses Keras as its interface to create neural networks, which is why I recommend it. If you know Keras, you can modify the neural networks here in the expert view. Edge Impulse runs a forum at forum.edgeimpulse.com if you need help with the tool. If you head to tinyml.org, you can see that there is a whole community of people involved in embedded machine learning. TinyML is the name of the foundation, as well as the community of embedded machine learning practitioners and researchers. About twice per month, TinyML hosts virtual talks. These are worthwhile checking out if you'd like to keep up to date on the current state of embedded machine learning and where things are headed. They also hold virtual or in-person conferences where people can give talks on their research, projects, or products related to embedded machine learning. TinyML.org is a great place to keep up with such advancements. One thing we didn't get into in this course was the idea of AutoML, or Automated Machine Learning. Edge Impulse provides a rich API that allows you to script the whole data collection, feature extraction, model training, and deployment process. If you're trying to collect data from hundreds of sensors, use that data to update a model and then redeploy the model. Having an API to script this process is invaluable. Machine learning has been around for a while, and it has been gaining in popularity over the past few years. Embedded machine learning is still somewhat new. We're just now starting to see some of the cool things people are making with it. I hope you had fun taking this course, and I hope it inspires you to make something amazing. Thank you for being a student in this class, and good luck on your machine learning journey.